If you haven't checked out the what is the ask video already, stop this, go check that out first so this makes more sense to you. It should be right above it, so it can't be too hard to find. All right, so what are the components of a good ask? Listen, the easy part is your name, your business name, and your business category. Hopefully, you've already got that on lockdown. And again, if you're unemployed, it's your name and the business type you want to get into. Maybe the type of role would help. So those things are important. But here's what make asks really stand out. I mentioned earlier, they have to be complete, clear. They have to be compelling. They have to be concise, right? But what they really need to be is specific. Think of it this way. You are playing a game of go fish. Now, if you're in the States, you've had a three-year-old, you've played too many games of go fish, where someone says, I need this card from you, and you have to give them that card if you have it. I'm looking for a three, of, I, need a, I need a three. And if you have a three, you give them the three. It's the same thing in networking when you're doing the ask. You're trying to play a matching game. You want to get in the head of someone in your network to have them match you with a person they know that fits your needs. It's really that simple. So picture the network in someone's head like a mental Rolodex. Do you guys remember Rolodexes? How old am I? You know, it was a stack of cards and a rolly thing, and you'd spin through it, and you'd come to the person you were looking for, and then you'd have the card. Mental Rolodex, same thing filing cabinet in someone's head, you're going through all their contacts or they're doing it for you and you want them to stop at the card that matches your request. So the more specific you get, the better. Examples of specificity. Their title, that's a good one. The name of the company they work out, they work at, that's a good one. Anytime you can combine title, name, and company, hallelujah, that's about as clear and as specific as you can get. Let me give you an example. I was in a meeting, small, small meeting, 11, maybe 12 people there, including myself. And a gentleman got up and said, I am, I'm not going to use his name or his company, but I am looking to meet the Director of Alumni Relations for the University of Michigan. Again, less than 13 people at the table and four responses. One person said, oh, I know them. I can make that introduction. A second person said, I know them too. A third person said, well, I don't know them, but I know the director of alumni relations at Wayne State University, which is a 20,000 person plus university in Detroit. And a fourth person said, I know the Director of Alumni Relations at Michigan State University. That one ask yielded three different opportunities and four different connections for that individual. That is a home run, people. Why did it work? Because title, Director of Alumni Relations, company, University of Michigan, it became super clear who they were trying to meet, right? So the better you can get at painting that picture in our head, in our mental Rolodex, the more likely you are to get the type of referrals you seek. But you have to ask, and again, I know it's counterintuitive, but the more specific you are, the more likely you are to get what you seek. Why? Because when you ask for something general, like, I'm looking for business owners. Well, most people know 15 to 50 business owners, and that's if they're not avid networkers. Think about how many business owners, people that are out and about, meet every single day. Nobody likes you enough to give you every single business owner they know. It's not going to happen. So you need to get specific. You need to tell people exactly who you're looking to meet. And this comes on you. You may have to do a little bit of research first. Sure, it's easy to say vice president of sales at an insurance company. 
But it's even better if you say the vice president of, in, of sales at Citizens Insurance or AAA Insurance or the Phil Klein Insurance Group. <laughs> My old title. So you want to be clear. You want to be specific. The more specific you are, the more likely you're to trip a wire in someone's brain. And the beautiful thing is, when you trip that wire, they will have a visceral response. Their tail starts wagging. They can't wait to help connect you if they know you, like you, and trust you. So you got to build those things first. Then get really specific. Make a hit list. Think of the 20 or 50 companies that you're trying to get into. Think of the titles or the positions of the people that you want in there. Go to a site like LinkedIn. Try and do the research to figure out the names. And then look where you are on the map. If you're near Citizens Insurance, that's out in Hall, Michigan, use Citizens Insurance. If you're near Phil Klein Insurance Group in West Bloomfield, Michigan, use Phil Klein Insurance Group, PKIG. You should use them anyway, but that's a different topic. That said, get specific. Make it relate to your audience the best you can and keep that hit list in a spreadsheet on your phone so you don't ever really have to think about it. It's plug and play. You just fill in the appropriate dots. That is how you make a compelling ask. Be specific.